dolls! Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another clothing haul for you guys. And this one is quite large. There's a ton of stuff that I'm going to show you guys today. It's all from Shein, which I'm sure you've heard of the online clothing brand. Um, but if you haven't, they're just a really, really big online store that has a lot of trendy and in fashion. Um, but 20 items from the store was pretty easy to find for me. It's all very, very my style. So I have lots to show you and I'm really excited to start trying some of this stuff on for you guys. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to start with tops and this is the first one in the tops, but it is probably the only one that isn't like in my color scheme. Um, it is this olive green tie top here. So there's like a little wrap around that turns into a bow. And I am in love with this top. Um, I've heard a few people say I should try getting some green things. I've been told olive green looks good on my skin. But I really, really love this. And I almost like this shirt even more in green than I would in pink or something like that. And might I mention the fabric is like incredibly soft and the quality on this one is really, really nice. I got it in a size extra small because it is fairly stretchy. Um, but yeah, this is a big thumbs up for me and I really love that I love this green piece. So the next one that I'm going to show you is this super beautiful pink knit sweater with this like very luxury kind of twist um, design in the front and all the knits and everything are super chunky and I love that. Um, the color is perfect. Did I already mention that? I don't know. But the only thing that I would say about this sweater is it's not the type of material that I like crave to put on. It's not itchy, but it's not like perfect. It's like a very average knit material, um, but I really, really love this and I'm still going to wear it a lot because look how cute it is. So I also got another sweater, which is this pearl embellished light, light pink one here. And I just think it's so pretty and classy. Um, it's kind of weird though because you can feel all the pearls through it on your skin so it's like many little cold dots but <laughs> that's fine because it's really really cute and I am just so in love with this. I feel like this is so me um, and I love this sweater. So this next one is kind of a off-shoulder glitter top um, and it has the ruffles here and on the sleeves. Um, I really love it but I do wish it was a little bit more of a muted pink. And then also whenever I was first putting it on, like I didn't even, my nails are mostly smooth and filed, but like somewhere, somehow on my nail caught the inside of the fabric and just kind of made a little run. And then I tried to get it out and it made a ripple. So this fabric is very finicky and like can easily snag and mess up. Um, so that's my one thing that I don't like about this shirt, but otherwise it's very pretty and flowy and forgiving to sizing. On to the lingerie bits. Um, this is technically lingerie. It's this um, long kind of champagne colored dress with the frillies here. It came with a thong. I'm never going to use that. Um, but I'm actually probably more inclined to wear this as a dress because it has a very pretty lace up back um, and it wraps around the waist so it cinches in. It does have kind of a low back, but it's just high enough that it's not like, ugh, you know, like too. Like I would need the thong, but it is very soft. It's thick enough that I wouldn't need a bra or anything because you know, like the back is open and stuff. So the quality overall on this one is actually kind of impressive to me because of how cheap it was. Now this one I saw and I just had to try it because I have one that's white. It's a full body suit that has like the kind of floral um, applique on it and it was really expensive. So I wanted to try this one because this one was really not expensive and compare the two. Um, this one is definitely a little bit more flimsy in the boob area. By the way, I'm trying these on totally with nude underwear underneath it. Like I am not trying this on without <laughs> for you guys because no. Um, but it definitely did kind of um, spill out a little bit more. The other one was more hugging than this one, but it really, really impressed me in how pretty it was. And actually the satin underwear were pretty good and I was overall pretty impressed with this. The price gap was not the quality gap that I got. So this next one is another lingerie piece and I got this purple lace bodysuit. I also have it in white so I already kind of knew what the quality would be like and I knew it was good. 
Um, this one has all adjustable straps, even this little one that goes across your back here. And I just love how long the bodysuit part is as well, so it's not like, you know, squishing you or, you know, causing pain <laughs> in any way. Um, but I'm not sure how easy this would be to style into an outfit with this color, but I really do love it as like one whole lingerie piece. So I just really think it's pretty. So I also got a few skirts and this one is very like shabby chic, very vintage um, because of the material. Um, but it has this little bow here and it cinches so it fits your waist well, which I really, really like. Um, and I think this is very cute. I'm actually really into this skirt. It's just that the material is a little bit just different, <laughs> um, but I think it gives it a really unique vintage look. So this is the next skirt. It's like kind of this frilled plaid one with a little bow tie here where it opens up and everything. Um, it's a lot thinner material than the other one, but it's also very, very nice and breezy. So for summer and stuff, I feel like it'd be a really nice kind of pattern piece to add to an outfit to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, so I just wanted to try this one out and I think it looks just like the pictures and I really like it. So moving on to dresses, um, this one's kind of hard to see on the hanger because, you know, it's all different. Um, so it's actually off shoulder like this. And this thing up here is the belt that goes around the waist. Um, and it's kind of like a midi length with a slit somewhere. Yes. Um, but it's this brand on Shein that um, is called Joy Funnier or something like that. Um, but it's this tag here. But the fabric is super nice. It is a little bit see-through. So you definitely want to wear something underneath it, um, but it's really pretty, especially for like vacation or something like that, and it's very comfortable. So this next one is kind of hard to tell what it looks like really until I try it on. It's like this very slouchy gray knit um, sweater dress, and it's really pretty. I love the bow. I love when bow details are on different pieces because it makes it very me and very girly. Um, and overall, the quality would be I'd say very good because it's pretty thick for the amount of money that it was for. So the next one is this very pretty pink sparkly one and I just love this light sparkly pink color on it. I kind of tend to wear it off the shoulder a little bit um, because I think it looks prettier that way. Um, but you can also wear it on the shoulder. It kind of gives a little bit more of a modest look because it is a higher neck. Um, but it's really really pretty and the quality is nice. The inside is soft material, so it's not scratchy or anything from the sparklies. So I really appreciate that. And yeah, I really like this one a lot. Next for the dresses is this kind of tan ribbed long, long midi dress. Um, I like to wear this one off shoulder as well because that's kind of how they showed it and that's like kind of the look right now. Um, but it's super nice quality and it's like, I don't know, I just really like the feeling of these kinds of dresses most of the time. Um, and the color turned out nice. I think it looks really good on my figure and it actually fits around my waist fairly well. This one I would definitely recommend to a lot of people just because it is such a good price for the style. And I would give this one an A plus for sure. I love it. So I know I just raved about that other rib dress, but this one is the Joy Funnier brand that's on Shein as well. And oh my God, this fabric is so soft. I would live in this dress if I could. So the screen's gonna blow out, but I'm gonna just kind of show you the dress like that. Look at how thin it is and long, um, but it's really, really body hugging and it fits every little curve and everything and it's so soft. They actually originally had this in light pink, but it went out of stock before I could order it and I was heartbroken. So now every day I check that listing if it comes back in stock in pink, especially now that I felt it. But I also have it in black, so I'm very grateful to have it because I <laughs> love this dress. So next up is this jumpsuit, which is super interesting um, of a piece because it's kind of like this utility looking like <laughs> work jumpsuit, but it's really cute and stylish. And I just love the casual vibe of it. And also the fact that I could just wear this and not have to figure out an outfit. You just throw some cute shoes on and a purse and your whole outfit is like done. Um, so it has also a tie around here. There's only these little strings that hold the tie on though, no real loop belts. And I think I got an extra small in this and it's still a little bit baggy. So I would definitely size down 
I'm pretty excited about this one to be honest and the color turned out more pink than it looked online so then I was extra excited about it. <laughs> okay so now we're getting into outerwear um, and I was looking for a white jean replacement since my other one went through the wash and kind of got a little bit like discolored so here is my new white jean jacket and I got it in a size medium because I kind of tend to like them to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more casual looking. Um, and it's really, really cute. Like, it's perfect material for me. It's not too rough. Um, like, it's not super jean-like. I mean, it is. It actually is. Um, but it's soft, soft jean-like. Um, I don't know. It's pretty much perfect for me and I love the fit of the medium. And I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot in the summer because it is so light. But it's also not I don't know it's just perfect okay so I love this jacket I didn't think I was gonna like it this much because the color looked literally nothing like this online I was like oh that's cute it's like kind of a blush pink it's probably honestly a more mature pink than this one but oh my gosh I love this color of pink it's so girly and it's so soft and I just didn't even know I needed this in my life until I got it and now I like don't know how I was living without it. I mean, I don't even know what more to say. It fits perfectly. I'm pretty sure I got a size small and I just feel like this is a piece that just belonged with me. We are now nearing the end into my outerwear bits. Um, and this is another favorite of mine. Ah, oh, the color is just so, like, I guess the best word to describe it is yummy just because it looks like a candy color and it's such a nice, rich pink. This is something I kind of lack in my closet. I have a lot of pastel pinks, but not as many like rich kind of luxurious pinks like this. And the fabric is so soft. I feel like you could also wear this out more casually than a lot of other fur coats, just because it's just the cut or something of it really makes it more wearable. I feel a little bit extra, which I like, but not like insanely. Um, the only thing that's a little strange about it is the pocket right here. It has like this little pattern for the pocket. Um, but it's not the worst thing and I can definitely get over it because of how wearable and cute and soft it is. Um, I got this in a size small and I am just like, in love with it. Alright, last for the outerwear is this black and pink fur coat. I was actually pretty blown away by the quality of this black coat. Like, it's got that quilted inside. I don't know if by moving it around you can kind of see the texture and material of it, but it's like really nice feeling. <laughs> it's definitely not waterproof. I was thinking about taking it up skiing, but after feeling it, it's kind of got this like cottony material. So I was like, ah, that's not gonna work. Um, but it is a really, really cute coat for like around the town, in the city, just like literally anytime probably, but it's really nice quality like I was pretty blown away <laughs> I mean I'm not saying I don't expect she to have good quality but for such a big coat for such a good price I'm a little surprised everything in this haul is just like turning out so well okay so last but not least I also got a pair of shoes and they're these chunky all pink sneakers and I feel like these are something that I just needed in my life <laughs> and the chunky sneaker trend is in and out for me whenever I see it, um, but I feel like with these, I'm just like super ready to take it into my life and just wear chunky sneakers because these go with so much of my closet and they're not too overly chunky. They're very tasteful and I like that they're all one color. I don't like the multicolor chunky sneakers, um, <laughs> but these were also a very good price. I'm a size seven and a half to eight and I got a European 39. The 39 is an eight and the 38 is a seven um, and I'm a seven and a half to eight so I got the 39 and they fit perfect so yeah that's the last item I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video I certainly did I liked like almost all these like a ton I will definitely put all the links down below like I said before as well as my Instagram link in case you guys want to check out my fashion posts my daily outfits and stuff like that also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already love you guys and I will see you next time